Hi, my name is Jonah, and in this video I'll be explaining what PV means and how solar panels work. In the solar power industry, the letters PV stand for photovoltaic, which is the name given to the technology that converts light into electricity. This process takes place through the use of a semiconducting material, such as silicon. A solar panel works in the opposite way to an LED light. Both use semiconducting materials such as silicon, but they have opposite functions. An LED light converts electricity into light by using a semiconductor material, while a solar panel converts light into electricity. A solar panel is made up of photovoltaic cells linked together. Most solar panels have 60 to 70 photovoltaic cells in the panel. Some of the latest solar panels have a half cell design which improves their efficiency, meaning the panel has either 120 or up to 144 photovoltaic cells. Photovoltaic technology combines principles from physics and chemistry. Some materials have the capacity to absorb photons, particles of light, and this causes the electrons to gain energy and move. The emission of electrons causes a separation of positive and negative charges creating a voltage output. Photovoltaic technology was first demonstrated by Edmund Beckerwell in 1839, almost two centuries ago. Solar panels became economically viable for homes and businesses in the last two decades. In the 1960s, decades before solar panels were installed on buildings, they were being used to power satellites. Most photovoltaic cells used in modern solar panels are made from specially treated silicon. They can be classified into monocrystalline and polycrystalline cells based on how they are produced. Monocrystalline cells are made as individual silicon crystals, as their name suggests, and they are characterized by their black color. Polycrystalline cells are made of multiple crystals and they have a lighter blue color. Monocrystalline cells have a higher efficiency than polycrystalline cells, which means you may need fewer solar panels to generate a given amount of electricity. However, monocrystalline solar panels are also more expensive on average to produce. You can find high quality solar panels of both types and they both offer an excellent return on investment. Inverters are fundamental in solar power systems since they convert the power produced from photovoltaic cells into power that can be used by home appliances. In addition, modern inverters use a technology called Maximum Power Point Tracking, MPPT as we call it, which makes solar panels more productive. An MPPT circuit adjusts the voltage and current of the system of solar panels to maximize the electric power delivered. Using MPPT, an inverter can adjust voltage and current to increase the kilowatt hours produced during the day. Solar panels facing the same way are subject to similar conditions and they can be controlled by the same MPPT circuit. When a solar system uses some panels facing different directions, each group of panels can be connected to a different MPPT circuit, which means that the voltage and current are optimized independently for each panel orientation and the electricity output of the entire system is increased. In the next video, I'll be talking about the different types of brands of solar panels available and how many panels you need in your solar system.